In this movie, I'm going to share some of my best practices for working with Adobe Connect. I hear a lot of people complaining about it and I have almost no issues with it and I do a few things to make sure that happens. So let me share some of that with you. I'm in my own Adobe Connect room and I've just opened a notepad here just to put some notes in. Some things that you need to do, particularly if you're a host or presenter. Reboot your computer before the class. There's just no way around that. Be hardwired whenever possible. I know a lot of people resist that, and I do know people who've had successful meetings being wireless, but the important thing is to maintain a consistent connection, and it's really hard to do that with Wi-Fi. So be hardwired whenever possible. Quit out of unnecessary programs, even email. All of that can just put a drain on, on the room. And you wanna make sure you have the most updated Flash Player. Again, something you can get from the Adobe uh, website, adobe.com. Some things to do if you run into issues. Uh, one of the first things that we recommend is to just simply quit out of the connect room and return. So you could simply close the window that you have open and most likely you have a browser window in the background with that URL on it and you can get right back in again. That usually fixes a lot of the issues. The second thing would, uh, if you're in the room but you're having trouble screen sharing or you're having audio issues and you've tried other things, one thing to do would be to reinstall the add-in. The add-in is particularly important if you're screen sharing. So if you are having issues with it and you're in a connect room, you can go to the upper right hand corner and click on the help and choose downloads. That will take you to a browser window and it will list the, uh, a lot of different links and one of them is the Adobe Connect add-in and you can download it for Mac or Windows, whichever you are. And that, I even diehards like me still have to do that every once in a while. So those are a couple great uh, troubleshooting tips. And then another one would be to right click on your slide and choose settings. And that third icon from the left is the Adobe Flash Player settings. Set your cache to unlimited. I just dragged this all the way to the right and do not check the box, never ask again. Believe it or not, that sets it back to the default every time. It's kind of counterintuitive. So just change this by moving it all the way to the right to unlimited, but don't check that box. And then just simply close. And then another thing I would say to check would be your preferences. If you go up under the meeting menu and go to preferences, a few things in here worth noting. For screen share, uh, setting your quality, uh, this is kind of a if it's not broken don't fix it thing, but I do screen share a lot, so I set this to high for screen share. And for video, this is another one. I just haven't really had an issue, so I haven't adjusted it, but you can adjust the video quality here if you're having some issues with video. Those are some of the main things that I would say that are best practices for working with Adobe Connect. 